One day, the residents of a small town noticed an unusual and creepy neighbor. A giant monster with four bony legs appeared near their town. It was so huge that its body towered above the clouds and could be seen from absolutely anywhere in the town. The strange thing was that the inhabitants were not frightened, nor did they flee from the city. It seemed to everyone that it was an absolutely normal phenomenon and nothing unusual was going on. Days and weeks went by and the monster stood still, but one day, in the middle of the night, there was a very creepy rumbling and grinding sound that lasted for several hours. In the morning, the townspeople found that the monster was gone, but before it left, it destroyed several houses that belonged to bad people known throughout the town for their sins. After this incident, the monster was nicknamed the Wandering Doom. Boo! Did I scare you, Tony? Not in vain, because we're back in the mysterious and frightening universe of Trevor Henderson. And today, we're going to talk about the giant known as Day 18, or the Wandering Doom. Let's go. The first image of the giant we saw was this. Isn't that creepy? Well, we know from verified sources that the monster is about 12 and a half kilometers tall, which is nearly eight miles. That means it's bigger than its closest relative, Day 17. We can see that the monster has a very bony body. It has protruding pelvic bones, ribs, and has some sharp spurs on its front legs. But because most of its body is in the shadows, it is not clear if it has skin or if it is a giant four-legged living skeleton. However, you can clearly see gaps between the bones on its hind legs, which means that the monster most likely has no skin, otherwise it would be covering them. It is also unclear what its head looks like. We can only see a small thickening at the end of the neck. It is possible that this is where its eyes, mouth, nose, and face are located. However, there is a theory that these two appendages are some kind of tusks at the sides of the mouth of the creature. And the neck is not a neck at all, but rather something like a proboscis, and the nose is at the end of it. In other words, Day 18 looks like a giant, gaunt, elephant-like skeleton. Well, this is only a fan theory, but the fact is that the Wandering Doom has no special weapons like tentacles to lift the faithful to heaven. Consequently, this monster is 100% a destroyer, and its incredible size is enough for it to demolish an entire city and destroy thousands of people in just a few seconds. Another proof of this is the fact that Day 18 was published by Trevor at the same time as such giants of destruction as Behemoth and Overlooker. Although, the latter may not be a destroyer, but the author's caption under that post said that they destroyed everything. And I wouldn't argue with Trevor Henderson himself, he probably knows better than the rest of us about the universe he created. But don't panic too much about the destructive power of Day 18. It is known to spare the good and the godly, bringing down its power only on sinners. Thus. Day 18 and Day 17 work together. One punishes the sinners, the other grants ascension to the faithful. Naturally, like Trevor's other giants, this one has a super strong body, which no modern weapon can damage. And what is there to damage if, as we have already found out, it is a walking giant living skeleton? There is also the erroneous belief that Day 18 is capable of walking on water. This, by the way, is not only impossible, but easily disproved by the original image. Take a closer look at it. You can see that the giant is not walking on water, but on land, on the other side of what looks like a huge sea or ocean. In general, there appears to be very little information about the Wandering Doom online. Trevor himself never gave any details about the giant, and most known facts have been found by numerous fans. And we have told you about this monster based on our own observations and inferences. So, if you disagree with us about something, tell us in the comments below. Tony and I will be happy to discuss your interesting theories as well. Also, we have an awesome video in which we talk about Trevor Henderson's most dangerous monsters. You'll get to meet Cartoon Head, Siren Head, and even the famous Day 17. Be sure to check it out if you love this universe too. The link is right here on the screen and in the description below our video. Finally, tell us in the comments what other Trevor monsters you want to know about. 
we will definitely conduct our own independent investigation about the most popular ones. But for now, we'll say goodbye to you, at least until the next episode of Super Tony. Bye-bye!